Hello, and we're back, friends. Look, it's Divinity Original Sin 2, and I am Lazy Bones. We're, uh, we're, we're here again. Remember this? Oh, man. Let's check this body. All right, we have to set this thing on fire. I wonder if I can... No, no. I have, like, a fire staff on me. Can I just attack? Oh, well. Let's, let's do this. Get these guys in there. Ha! Uh, yeah, I already uh, looted everything inside the ship. I played uh, off camera some stuff. You guys, yeah, you guys don't even see me explore all the things again. I mean, why would you? Let's see, what else can I do? Staff, mages, launch a magical missile. From your staff that deals that much damage. Oh yes. I remember this stuff. It's time to get on yeah. And then Must be chicken. You wanna be a chicken. <laughs> yes. Uh by the way I'm using a staff because I broke my oh, I broke my other knife that I had trying to break a door open Ow. oh double attack you son of a you know what oh that's right no it requires a dagger Oh, 3 AP? Great. What's this? Sucker Punch. An unexpected blow that deals 5 to 6 physical damage and knocks the down target. It's a different uh, display. Out of reach. Oh, there it is. I was like, what the heck is this? Right there. Ah, oh, I missed. Run away from me, chicken. Oh. And then... This. Oh, right. The smallest smallest of ledges prevent me from doing that. Five turns. You know what? <laughs> That's it. Since I don't have weapons proficiency, I can just use any weapon. I want to. Hmm, with great success. Nothing in his body. Oh, hold on, this guy's sweet bod. I'm gonna show you guys what I did uh, when I went down to search. I don't know if I ever showed that during the early access playthrough. Definitely missed that on early access playthrough. Oh, yes, please. There's a lot more gold in these crates than there was before. Hmm. I'll take it. Because I already have that much gold. Not a lot, but it's uh, pretty good. What is this rope? I think it is. Um, let's throw this. Park it too far. Uh, take that. I'll take that. I guess. Oh, they prevent you from moving now. Last time you can move. But now I can't move at all. Okay. Drop this. Drop this. Drop this. <sighs> Good. Can't see. Can't move either. What have I done? 
Oh, I have all this food. Doesn't heal, huh? Any more food? How many times do I must click? <laughs> there we go. Uh huh. One, two. Double click. There we go. I double click a couple times in order for it to work. Oh, my sweet hat! Might as well complete the outfit. Ugh. Ugh. What are you doing, old man Lee's bones? He's letting his hair down. Uh, I don't see anything else I could drop. Dang it. Don't explode. Good. Oh! My bunions! Now, uh, I could throw this. Finally. Oh, he stopped burning. Now he's a singed sweet bod. Take that. Wasn't there another guy? There he is. She. I don't know. What's this? Magic wand? I'll take it. Mm, anything else? Like, take. Anything over here? I wonder if I can go past this guy. Hope I don't die. I never tried this before. Come on. Don't be shy, old man Lacey Bones. Aww. Nope. He's not going over there. He's like, I'm not gonna even try to attempt it. Good. Oh, this is where, uh... The, the, did we search this? Should it say... Oh, it says empty. Okay, good. So I was wondering. That means there's still a chance. <gasps> the kid! Oh, we forgot to talk to the kid the first time. Oh. Dang, I forgot about the kid. Shut your trap, kid. Children and dwarfs first, just like the old stories say. <gasps> the dwarf yanks at one of the nearby ropes to no avail. He said there were other people down there. Price. We, we need to help them. Price. That's a band. You see those tentacles, kid? No, it's Trice. Get the hell out of here. Hmm, call the dwarf a yellow bellied coward. You'll return to the lower deck and check for survivors. The ship trembles, trembles beneath your feet, but the kid's right. Say you'll go back to the lower deck and look for survivors. Tell the kid Gil is right. You just came from the lower deck. You're not going back down there. Now, reach for the release mechanism, forget the others. <laughs> You just want to run off the ship. Man, I want to see what this does, but I must stay true to character and say, You're a yellow bellied coward! Thank you, thank you, thank you! You're welcome. There's a ladder right over there. You can go straight down. You're going to be the death of us, you hear? That's what you think, Mouse, you? You should never leave someone alone. That's right, kid. Alright, we already searched all the bodies. We still have to do that, but that's last. Here, we're gonna trigger the fight. There we go. Wait! Void Woken! Mm hmm. Oh! I didn't heal up all the way. Shoot. Well, let's get super horny again. Bullhorn. Oh, yeah, we have to get close. By the way. Oh, there's two of them. Get a bow. Yes. I did do an arena battle. Uh. But. It, oh no! I have my. <sighs> Dang. It's too far. I don't have my thing on me. Dagger. Only one? Fine. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, did an arena battle, and uh, <laughs> I lost. It was pretty bad. I didn't know any of the spells that were in the bar here. That it was different than this. And I was too busy talking, like, typing was. away. I was talking, and I wasn't even talking to the mic. It was just a bad recording, so I, I'm not gonna upload it. Just a FYI. Hmm. Let the games begin. Two new recipes learned. Oh, she's green. They all have pictures now. Nice. They who are about to try ah, I would have gone with a more. If you're wondering where, uh, what was his name? Fade? Or, uh, the skeleton guy, the undead guy. If you're wondering where he is, he's, uh, reading a book in some corner somewhere. So just, uh, let you know. Oh, now I can switch. Now I can do this. No one else, right? Just two baddies left. Not dead. Mm. This might be able to do it. Yes. We done? Healing up. Will you heal me? Whoa! Is she fighting him? Are they fighting? Why are they fighting each other? What are they doing? Guys, if... There are differences we can... Oh no, we could... No, don't kill her. We could, we could talk this through, guys. You, you done? <laughs> I'm just standing over there with my freaking hat. Um... Please. The ship is going down. Uh, we shouldn't be doing this. I don't think these guys are supposed to be doing this. Are they done? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I said that weird. Well. What's this? Leather ball. I'll take it. I might as well let them fight it out. I don't know what's going to happen there. I don't think that's supposed to happen. Hey, Red Prince. Oh. I guess I'll just wait here for them to finish. I can't talk to them while they're fighting. This has to be... What the heck? Are they following me and fighting? Oops, did that. Can't talk to her. I already checked all their bodies, right? I... Oh, that's... Giblets. I want no lumpy giblets. Uh, there was a guy over here. Oh, yeah, we checked that guy. Okay. Yeah, that's it. There's a flag here. Magister William. We checked his bot. Magister. Yeah. Check it again. Hmm. Can I? I don't get that. This is the room I broke into, by the way. It was that much health. And this doesn't work. So they're fighting? To the death. It looks like it. 
More telling where there might be more. We need to move. Let's oh not carry. This old tub is about to burst. No. They smell even worse than dead. Losh lost. Uh, oh crap. How do you pronounce the name? No way. I'll take a gold. And a shiv. And this. And a backpack. Mine are better. Mine are better. I'll leave her with some dignity. What the heck is this? I am pretty sure this isn't supposed to happen. I love the new animation of the dead bods, by the way. It's better than the ash pile that they turned into. Um, uh oh. Something's broken. That's not good. That's not good at all. Oh, by the way, yeah. This is. I wonder what this says. Somebody tell me. Because mine's not working. See? The little cogs are moving as I click. Nothing. Did I ever search this? I didn't. That's strange. Huh. Uh, also, I unleashed the unleashed the death cloud. <laughs> I hear something. Uh oh, it's it's Magister Siwan. Siwan put on this damn collar. She tries to speak, but can only gape as she clutches her neck, trying to stem the bleeding of a gushing wound. Look around for some way to help her. There's nothing to be done. Leave her to fend for herself. Look with around. jagged movements, she raises her clenched fist and holds out a length of cloth, soaked with some kind of strong-smelling tincture. Tincture. Take the cloth and hold it tight to the wound to try to stem the bleeding. Blood quickly soaks through the cloth. Magister C. One's mouth opens and closes, her eyes wide in terror. Hold the cloth tighter to the wound. Unravel the blood writ red cloth and wrap it snugly around her neck like a tourniquet. Slit her throat. Better to end it quickly. Hmm. Pressure is good. I forgot this. It was around her neck, right? Hmm. No. It's working. The pressure is stemming the flow of blood. C1 clutches your arm, her eyes locked with yours. Something within the ship snaps. Oh, uh, here we go. Shudder. The Kraken. Continue to hold the cloth to the wound. Take C Wan's hand and try to help her stand. I can't zoom out. C Wan struggles to her feet, clinging to you tightly. The ship lets out a deep groan, then cracks. Oh. There it is. It's ripped apart. Nice. Oh. Honorable Dallas, we lost a ship sailing sorcerer prisoners to Fort Joy. <gasps> we assume some escaped and broke their collars. Their vile magic lured the Voidwoken. All who were aboard are presumed dead. Yours faithfully into eternity, High Judge Orivan. <laughs> Whoa. They used a different voice for that uh, part. Cause last time it was like a like a Scottish voice. Guy. Accent. Yeah. We're off the ship. And we're wet. Those void women made short bloody work of the ship. Am I the lone survivor? This must be Fort Joy. Fort Joy? 
Oh, crap. Does that mean Losh? Uh, oh, how do you pronounce her name again? Lo Los oh, they, they said it differently. Crap. I wonder if she's gone forever. That's not good. That's not good. Oh, wait, can I dual do wheel this? I can! Mm. Oh, wait. I have another dagger. Not what I meant to do. Crap. Then I can't use uh, this. Damn. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, something to think about. Is that a chest? It looks like a chest. It's not a chest. It's a thing. For boats. A brace? I don't know. I'm not even going to try to pretend I know what that thing is for a boat. Let's see, what's this? Ah! I thought the order would get rid of any trace of the old source king. Is the kid here still? The kid is here. Tam. The child has a small mirror in his hands. He holds it up at angles, inspecting his eyes, his chin, the crown of his head. He spots you, and his arms snap to his sides. I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. Tell the kid to keep to himself, then. <laughs> Human, tell him to worry. He can trust you not to worry. Then keep yourself, then, you snot nose brush. He shrugs and continues the game with a mirror, inspecting inside his nostrils and around the back of his knees. Take your leave. Old man lazy bones doesn't like kids. What's this? String? Bow string. I guess I can craft the bow later. I, I don't know. Arrow shaft? Sweet. Make some bows. This won't be of any use. I mean arrows. Broken balls. This won't be of any use. Mm, everything still looks the same. I can't zoom out as much. Or did they fix that? Or if you like a hover over something big that it just extends the the camera view higher? No? A little bit. There we go. Ah. This is crazy. Oh man. The Red Prince is around here somewhere. Oh, autosave. Oh! You know, I should have just uh, stayed with the conjurer. That's okay. It's okay. We'll, uh, won't use Sybil. Hmm. Leather ball. Should we fight them? Boy, Those are the same beasts that sank our ship. Damn, they've made it to shore. I fight them on my own. Let's try this in tactical view. Oh. This is different. Let's see. Then I could do this. Ah, oh, dang. Hmm. Yeah. Do that. Then turn him into a chicken. Attack of opportunity! What? Or do you guys like this better? Or this? Behind him. Oh, I just realized I can do this. <laughs> wow, okay. Nice. Wait, is that. Oh my gosh. Why did I think that was my health? Alright, attack him. Ah, oh, I can't see him. Oh, that's my radius. No, it's not. Okay, 
Never mind. Can I hit him with this? What's this do? Decaying touch scroll. Mm. Guess I'll encourage myself. What's that buff do? Ah, plus one, all that stuff. Cool. I'll end my turn and have it come to me. Yes, meet your maker. Ow. I can do this. Dead. I think these bloody collars were supposed to keep those things at bay. 200 experience. Yes. Oh man, it's gonna be hard to get back to level 7 before I get off the island. Uh, or was I level 6? I already did that. I don't remember. It's gonna be weird doing this all over again. I, ooh, crafty weaponry. Is that a skill or something? A word of advice to the badly armed. Tie your knife or shiv if that's all you have. To a stick or a branch. Now you've got a sword or a of sort. Oh. Good to know. Oh. Oh. And the red prince is over here. Yep, still here. Oh, but there's this. You spot a strange lizard gazing over the water with a steady, malcontent stare. His skin is of a bright blood red color. Could he be? Yes, you recognize him from the ship. It would seem you're not the only one who survived the tentacles of the deep. Greet him heartily and say you're glad to see he survived the shipwreck. Smirk and tell him his slave has come to port for duty. He's the one that took you by the jaw and sized you up like a damn horse. Save a bone to pick with him. <clears throat> ah, this is different dialogue. I remember I could reproach silently because he was staring off to the distance. And looking at it. Hmm. Hmm. I'm the lizard turns about sorry. with the graceful ease of a dancer or a duelist. You lock eyes with his two smoldering embers that sizzle your very soul. Yeah, I should read that stuff before <laughs> the dialogue. Okay. I did survive, yes. And chances are I wouldn't have, had you not returned to the aid of your fellow passengers down in that dreadful hole. Oh, I can't get used to that voice with this guy. You have my gratitude. Hand over heart, he salutes you with a bob of the head. More than a nod, though less than a bow. Mm. Tell him you were glad to be of help. Doesn't do to stand idly by when people are in danger. Scoff and say he owes you a bit more than gratitude. Hmm. I'm glad I can help. Yes, I'm sure you've all the makings of a hero and all that, but let's not get carried away, shall we? Nevertheless, one good turn does deserve another, so as far as the whole slave business is concerned, let's just forget about it. You may as well have your freedom. Hmm. Now then, if there's nothing further. Ask what he's doing here? Stand on, standing on that rock. Wonder what he plans to do next. What do you plan to do next? If you really must know, I haven't quite decided yet. I have a frightful amount of things on my mind, hence my standing here contemplating the waves. He sighs dramatically. Tell me. What do you see when you cast your glance over this ocean? Say that you see memories, childhood days spent in the sun. Say that as, as of last night, you see a kraken infested wasteland you never want to go near again. Uh, uh, my memories, childhood, spent days in the sun. Memories, quite so. 
He looks out over the water once more, and so do you. A few tranquil moments pass as the waves lap against your thoughts. Uh, oh, I was looking as at for stuff. for myself, when I consider this vast expanse before us, I see an empire. Oh. I see continents dotted with mighty cities. And shimmering along the soft curve of the sea's horizon, I picture the palaces that formed my paradise. Lost. Ask what he means by lost exactly. Tell him that's a rather specific vision he has there. Why an empire? Shrug and say people see castles in the sky. Might as well see them in the sea. Oh, I hope there are castles in the sky. That would be amazing. Uh. That's a rather specific vision. Why an empire? Of course it's rather specific. Quite obviously, I'm musing over the very actual empire that I lost. Suddenly, having all the air of being deeply offended, he stares at you with utter incredulity. Oops. Well, don't just stand there gawking like an ape at an abacus. Or do you really mean to tell me you don't know who I am? Well, this is every, oppor every opportunity I have to do my character's uh, special trait. I'm going to try it and uh, do it. So, smack your forehead. Of course! Every blue blood knows the Red Prince. The very same. I am the Red Prince. The All-Conqueror. The World Tamer. The Spouse of the Sun. Of course Spouse. you know me. There's a brief moment's pause during which his grandiloquent pose deflates ever so slightly. Grandiloquent? Quite eloquent. That said, I suppose I must own up to the fact that I find myself rather in between all-conquering and world-taming opportunities at the moment. The grandeur that is my fate has uh, hit a bit of a snag. But never you worry. For the throne I was destined, and my throne I shall have. Invite him to travel with you. Maybe you can help. Uh, maybe you can even help him win his throne back. Say that you too have this and that to sort out. He's welcome to tag along if he wants. Say it's been absolutely riveting, but that you have to dash. But that you have to dash. You probably lose that. Um. Hmm. Travel with me. Maybe you can even help uh, you get your throne back. Truly. A kind offer indeed. And you've already proven to be trustworthy enough. You came back for the others on that ship after all. Fine. I accept. On one condition. Oh boy, here we go. For reasons I'll not disclose right now, it is imperative that I should meet with a dreamer. One of the mystics of my kind. Oh. I've reason to believe one of them may be present on this island. Promise me we'll look for him, and I'll extend you the blessing of my company. Mm. Uh, promise him. Say you can't promise him exactly, but you'll keep his request in mind. Tell him your interests trump his. I promise. Jolly good. Jolly good. So, now that that's settled, first things first. Even if you are as versed in the art of eloquence as I am, that our swords will be doing a lot of the talking from here on out goes without saying. Ah. As a born fighter, I prefer the perfection of the blade myself. But I'm well acquainted with the secrets of magic and, yes, even subterfuge. What say you? Say that a fighter sounds perfect. He should stay true to his vocation. Say you're interested in someone with a little muscle. Ask if he has any material. Martial experience. Say you're interested in someone with a little finesse. Ask if he's comfortable in the dexterous arts. Say you're interested in someone with an affinity for the arcane arts. Ask if he knows much magic. Well, let's, uh... You should stay to your true vacation. Vacation. Very well. 
Onwards then to victory or death. <sighs> that settles it. The Red Prince nods, then gives you a smile that wavers ever so delicately between courtesy and contempt. Now, as you're aware, you'll be traveling with a prince. Proper forms of address include your majesty, your royal highness, or, or if you're feeling particularly frivolous, my lord. <laughs> as your luck would have it, I seem to be fresh out of luggage, so you won't be required to carry my belongings. Of course, there are other forms of protocol to bear in mind, but I'll see to it you'll pick up the rest as we go. So, without further ado, let us be off. Sweet. All right, pals. I'm going to end the episode off here. I'm going to continue playing. I'm going to try to round up the entire gang off camera. And uh, we'll see where we'll, uh, where we'll be at on the next episode. Uh, I'm going to try, like I said on the first episode, I'm going to try to get off the island as quickly as possible. Uh, so we won't have to experience this all over again. Obviously, there are new things that they've added since Early Access has released. So I will try to get that uh, captured on camera so that you will enjoy it as much as I will. Uh, what is this, by the way? Oh, Waypoint Travel. Oh, that's so good. Oh, yes. Can I? Oh. That's so much better. Yes, I don't have to freaking walk all the way to these statues in order to do it. And this is a different statue, is it? It is. It has to be. I do not remember these people in such horrible condition. Anyway, wow, that's an amazing discovery. An amazing, amazing addition. Anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, this is Divinity Original Sin 2. I am Lazy Bones, and uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Uh, bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.